Good morning, our ordinary president. Thank you for the opportunity to be in the studio. I'm really excited. The last activity that took place now, mm. I just remember that my birthday is on Monday. Hey! Yes, on Christmas Day. Yeah. Yes. Ordinary president, you remember this time last year, you came all the way from Kaduna yes. to my house. Yes. And you sat down in on the rug in my sitting room for and four, I four, rice. four hours. Yes, sir. Four solid hours. Yes, and I chop rice. I'm I'm really honored. Yes. And um it's been memorable in my mind. Yeah. So it's already one year again. And mm. I thought that I should be part of this mm. that you are doing. Mm. So I'm co I'm contributing one millionaire for this. <laughs> so that you can reach out to more people. And I will send the money today. When I know what I'll go do with the one million naira, when I go forgive me, what I won't take them do. I go carry the one million naira, go support daily trust staff. Yes, I go tell them say now, Doctor Otabo <laughs> donate one million naira to us. The same Doctor Otabo, we will now they try to destroy. He give me one million. Are they? Support Una with the one million naira. Continue, sir. Thank you. The Honorable trust. President, mm. you, I thank you for the special love and um, opportunity that you give me to talk to Nigerians and indeed people around the world. When people see the way that you relate with me, especially on the, in the studio, like the, or many, sometimes when you call me, they will have an impression as if we drink tea together every morning. Uh -huh. But the truth is, I looked at how many times we got to talk. Even last, over the phone. Last ye this year, we have not talked more than three times. Yes. Yes. I have not even seen you more than once. Apart from when you get to call me on, you know, on My the phone when, when you are here. So, there's really nothing. But I think that you must have seen something in me that has attracted you. And Dr. Otabo, yes. no, they waste your English. English. <laughs> Use your English for another thing. Okay. You are a great man. Thank you, sir. And I'm <laughs> proud to be identified with you. Thank you. I am <laughs> I am with you all the way around. Thank you so much. I am no, <laughs> no bagger, no evil, yeah. no newspaper, no TV or read radio station can take the love I have for you out of my mind. Man, thank Today, you. Today, <laughs> I am telling the whole world, I, ordinary Ahmed Isa, the ordinary president, is proud to be associated with Dr. Chris Otabo. Thank you. Carry thank on. you, sir. So, um, I realized that God has given us a task. People are dying. People are sick. You need to come to the hospital to see the number of what people are going through. And, and there's so much ignorance, especially in this country. So I refuse to be distracted by what the enemy is trying to do. I want to be focused on what God has called us to do. And so when, you, when I heard yesterday that you wanted me to come to the studio, yeah. I said, I'm not going to focus my energy on trying to, <clears throat> to answer to every dog that is barking yes. on the street. Rather, let me come and give a lecture. So I'm talking Homeless this morning. dog, for that matter. <laughs> dog will not get address and identity. <laughs> Thank you, sir. I'm talking this morning on chronic kidney disease in Nigeria. When I hear an imagined public health and socioeconomic dilemma, it's a big problem in the country. Before the end of this lecture, one person may have died of kidney disease, and it's 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 huge. So. There's no other disease that uh, we can talk about prevention being better than cure than in, um, in kidney disease. So that's why I want to spend some time to talk about it this morning. I have some slides that I gave to the control room. It's, it's a PowerPoint presentation, if it will just go along with me. So the kidneys are uh, two bean-shaped organs uh, in the body. It's tucked in behind in what we call the paracolic gutters, just far, far deep inside the body. If you are looking at a human being in front, the kidney is almost behind, just 
covered by the ribs at the back. And they are not so big, but very vital. And um, what are the functions of the kidneys? The kidneys have many functions. Number one is to filter waste from the body. So when the body is, when, you, when we eat food and we drink drinks, those things, um, the body takes the useful part out of it. Then the remaining one is excreted. And many times that waste is excreted through urine and also the liver also does some excretion. Without those excretory function of the kidney, all those things accumulate in the body and they poison the body and the body cannot survive. Another function of the kidney is metabolism of um, drugs. When we are sick and we take medication, that medication does not remain in our body forever. Because if it remains in the body forever, it's going to injure the body. So after it has done its work, maybe after three hours, five hours, 20 hours, or two days, as the case may be, the kidney will have to, to take that medication, break it down into a, a form that can be excreted, and then to excrete it from the body. That's why for patients that have a chronic kidney disease, Sometimes the doctor will, will reduce the medicine by half because the body cannot remove or break down the entire uh, dose. Another important function of the kidney that people don't know about that I want to mention here is the formation of blood. The kidney is very important in the formation of blood in the body. And that's why when people have kidney failure, chronic kidney failure, one of the ways you know them is that they, are, they look pale, they look sick, they are looking white. You will just know at once that this person is sick because you look at the palm, it's white. You look at the eyes, it's white. Even the lips, is looking white. So that's one um, way of identifying patients that have kidney uh, failure. I will talk about the symptoms later. But it's important to know that the kidney is very important in the formation of blood. And then also the kidney helps in control of blood pressure. Like um, it, the, the kidney produces some hormones that helps to regulate blood pressure. That's why in many patients that have kidney failure, they also have blood pressure problem. Their blood pressure will just be shooting up uncontrollably because the kidney is failing in its function of blood pressure regulation. So what's the prevalence of kidney problem in, in Nigeria? In Nigeria, about 11.4% of adults in Nigeria have one form of kidney failure or the other. The kidney failure is in grades, grade 1, grade 2, grade 3, grade 4, grade 5, all stages. But if you count, if you do a random selection of 100 people and put them in the room and take their kidney function test, statistics shows that out of 100 adults, 11 of them already have one form of kidney failure or the other. There are people who are beating their chest to say they are okay, but the truth is that some of them, their kidneys are already failing. Mm -hmm. Yes, it's just that no symptoms yet because it takes sometimes up to 80% of the kidney function must have been gone before kidney before symptoms shows up uh, yes so if 50 percent of the kidney function is gone the man is still boasting that he's fine 70 percent is gone he's still boasting that he's fine so that's why it is good to do annual medical check regular checkup to be sure um your kid the state of your kidney function so that you don't do anything that will push you quickly into um, complete failure that will ma manifest with symptoms, especially for people that have diabetes and hypertension. Mm. Yes, and those who also have family history of kidney problem. In the U.S., as far as as many as 15% of adults have chronic kidney disease. And if you see people in medical ward in the hospital. Almost 10% of the, all the admissions in the medical world is as a result of kidney disease. Uh -uh. So it's, it's quite prevalent. And 42% um, of, um, of kidney problems 
are end state kidney problem. That means the when we say end stage, that means the kidney has totally packed up, and you are just now trying to um, to carry the person on until he gets a new kidney. So, what are the causes of kidney uh, problem, kidney failure? <laughs> this is very important. Sorry, and, sir, yes. sorry. Monye Igwe say, doctor, please. There are some. Uh, there are some colored drinks or juice that when I take them during my urine, my urine color will show the same or uh, one or two rounds of urine. Is it okay or is there anything I can do? Okay, so to answer that question, what is important is for the person to know what is the content of the drink that is taken. Oh. Because if the content is not certified by the regulatory body, and because there are a lot of fake drinks all around, and they don't, they don't go through the regulation, mm. because NAVDAC is supposed to be the gatekeeper to ensure that no poisonous or untested drink get into the market. So if there's no NAVDAC no, and the drink you are not sure, it's better not to drink it. Mm. But the color of the urine after taking the drink has nothing to do with that the drink is safe or not because if you take metally blue for instance the urine will be blue if you take red and the, the kidney will just filter the the color and bring it out you know in the urine take out the urine but what's more important is the content of the drink recently navdak you know dismantled some bad guys who were for who were adulterating yeah. some yeah. Yes, sir. somewhere uh, and, and they follow standard. I know they try to scare anybody, but it is with what I see for Twitter recently, X and the recent discoveries with them over between 60 and 7 percent of the things we would take we, we take from drinks to medicine and fake ones including more including supplement including including because we no get standard so make when i very careful with anything which they be does some toxic is see more three kinds of malt where people the same company, uh, the same name, but three different uh, um, uh, design. Uh, yes. Slight design, slight design, slight the difference, slight difference. And the three, all of them, na fake. The original one, no day among them. This bomb vita, fake ones food. No, fake ones food. Uh, powder mix, including. I've been mean, no they buy the one for container. I go to buy the sachet type since they, that one nine be original. They they do am now. <laughs> so they people where they sell drugs for Lagos, they go they go put the um what be the name of this uh, this uh, loud waiting they call them one drug like that uh, for me sachet nine they put them. They sell them. Okay, the, that's the reason why in a hospital we cannot afford fake products because lives are directly involved. You can die just taking fake drugs. So we get our medications directly from distributors. So if you want to avoid buying fake products like other president have said, it's better that you get the product from recognized stores deal directly with distributors that way you are not likely to buy fake products so on my person let me go back to my presentation so the causes of kidney problem for some people before they were born, they already have kidney problem they have not done anything wrong because they they acquired some genes that is responsible for a kidney problem this for instance we talk about the polycystic disease of the kidneys you know the kidney is supposed to be like thick flesh just normal flesh without space inside but some people when they are born they have that gene and that it begin to manifest as they get older as they turn towards ad, as they get towards adult age 
space there will not be a lot of space in the kidney that is filled with water so the real flesh is is taken by those spaces we call it polycystic disease mm. and when the when a majority of that of the flesh is taken over by those spaces then the kidney will fail so and people many people don't even know so the time that that failure will happen can be pushed forward if people discover on time sometimes you do ultrasound for patients and you are seeing multiple cysts and then you are telling the patient you have multiple cysts in your kidney and they said well i didn't know so with such um discovery you are able to prevent them from coming down quickly with the disease but many of them no matter what you do then there's what we call posterior urethra valve the, when, once the urine is manufactured in the kidney it is supposed to be going downwards until it is passed out through the urethra now if for any reason the urine passage is blocked or the urine goes back it is, the urine becomes very poisonous to the kidney even though the kidneys are the ones that produce the urine yet urine can be very dangerous to the kidneys so once the kidney produces the urine the urine never goes back to the kidneys it goes down until it is passed out but if for any reason there's a reflux or for any reason there's a blockage of passage and then the urine builds up and goes back to the kidneys within a short time it damages the kidneys so there are some things there are some valves in children that causes that to happen so if it is not observed on time that can lead to uh, kidney damage then the acquired things i have talked about the congenital which means the ones that are there at birth but the other things that that develop as we get older the the one of the commonest in fact the twin the twin um, the twin um, uh, problems that that damages the kidneys more than any other thing is number one uncontrolled hypertension and two uncontrolled diabetes i have said this so many times and so if you have hypertension it is not a problem it is only a problem if you you are not controlling it because the kidneys will soon be damaged if you have diabetes it is not a problem it becomes a big problem if you are not controlling it so in our experience almost more than 60 percent of chronic kidney disease that will end up in kidney failure is caused by hypertension and diabetes combined so it's a very important thing another cause of kidney failure is infection hiv infection can damage the kidney directly and also some other infections like skin infections with streptococcus there's a particular type of bacteria when that skin infection is present it just throws the toxins to the kidney and knocks down the kidneys and then the the, the kidney fails then abuse of medications and concoctions like we just talked about Agbo. yes like some people um they got to the doctor and the doctor prescribed medications for them maybe medication for pain like especially for people who are farmers or the laboring public they gave them they used to abuse medication like feldine and the uh, indocid and butazone those medications for pain the doctor prescribed it for one week for a purpose or for two weeks maximum for a purpose but because they found out that the medication can take care of pain they just went on the expressway and they are just consuming it week in week out week in week out if you take it long enough it's going to knock down the kidneys that's what we call analgesic nephropathy and that can lead to kidney failure unfortunately in nigeria we don't have control over the the uh, medications i was in germany i just wanted to buy one small medication that is even not even serious medicine they are asking me where's your prescription where's your prescription I, in fact not only prescription the doctor's number must be there without that prescription sorry you cannot get in nigeria the medication. Yeah. here here even medications that should be controlled you can get to the pharmacy or anybody man no man you can get anything some of the patients that uh, are uh, hooked on some medications like pentazosin and um, and petidine those are very highly controlled drugs now i it is it amazes me how my patients get it yes because even with prescription you are not it is difficult to get but when we are treating them let's say they are abusing the drugs and want to purge them of the medicine 
we keep them in the world. Their family members and friends will put bottles inside uh, their food and smuggle it into, into the hospital. Eh? Yes. And they know. They just know that, okay, we will we'll put five bottles inside that your food. They will, it's not food they are there for. They came to, they will separate the food and bring out the medication and still give themselves injection inside the room. <laughs> so it is that serious. So, mm. so, um, Med abuse of medications and concoction. Some people, they are traveling. Every time they are traveling, they get to the motor park. You see those uh, young ladies with concussions on their head. And they say, give me one shot. Give me two shots. Mm. They don't know what they are even taking. So some of those things can be poisonous and they can, they can knock down the mm. kidneys. Yes. Then smoking. Smoking can push people into uh, kidney failure. You say, well, not every... I've, some people say, I've been smoking for many years. I don't have kidney failure but if you have other predisposing factor and you are now smoking then it becomes risky for you because smoking can just be the the uh, factor that can push you over then other conditions like inflammation of the kidneys glomerulonephritis and all that so what are the signs of kidney failure now there's sorry, the as a rigid sorry sir yeah doctor as a rigid say range it he said, Doctor, sir, what about tramadol? My cousin brother is addicted to tramadol and he takes it every hour for him to be high and get up. Yes, so it's one of the drugs of addiction. He, normally, that gentleman ought not to be able to buy tramadol except with a doctor's prescription. Over the counter. Yes, he cannot buy it. Even if you go to chemist or pharmacy, they should not sell it to him. But the guy is still able to get it. That's why he's, he got addicted to it. Mm, every hour. Because if it was controlled as it should, he would not have been addicted. But because he was able to get it, maybe the doctor prescribed it once, and um, he saw that it was good for him, and he went and was able to get it by himself. And, and as he continues to use it, he becomes addicted. And then that the, there's, he is able to get it. That's why he did that, the addiction continues. So it's unfortunate, but that does not have a direct effect on the kidneys anyway. Just by the way. So, talking about kidney failure, what are the symptoms? One of the earliest signs of kidney failure, someone will tell you, ah, your eye is swollen. It, like they say, bagginess under the eye. Yeah, more, yeah, yeah. Under your president. <laughs> not when I know, yeah. you, <laughs> you don't have it. <laughs> so there's a, we call it puffiness, facial puffiness. Early in the morning, you see like a bag under the eye. It's very obvious, you know, like a sagging bag. That is a sign that the kidney is not filtering or removing the, the water that it's supposed to be removing. Mm. Yes. Then, um, sometimes people also observe leg swelling. The legs are swollen. As the leg, it will depress. And when you remove your hand, it, it can come back later. Then, with time, there will be breathlessness. And you used to climb the staircase to your office, maybe two, two flights of stairs mm. every time. But now you discover that when you climb, you are tired. You are just panting. So that's, that's this now, you know, difficulty so breathing. So climb staircase, you tire, not sign. It's, it could be a sign of uh, uh, kidney problem. It could also be a sign of heart problem. What it could if, also be a sign of lungs problem. What if person climb up, you know, to take it tired? up up well <laughs> i understand what you're saying <laughs> it could, well yes that's what we call effort intolerance it could be a sign that the heart is weak thank you or the kidney is weak is up. having a yeah. problem yeah. then then later on of course general weakness like a, you is like ordinary president said you, the things that you used to do, you used to do work, you used to be agile, yeah, and you yeah. discovered that you are losing strength. Yeah. You are not able to function yeah. ordinarily like yeah. you used to be. Yeah. That can be a warning sign. Yes, sir. And after some time, the kid, the urine volume will be reducing. Quantity. Yes, until after some time, you, one will not even be able to pass any urine again. Yes. So, and any person where they urinate in high quantity now, yes, you get assurance. No, because I, too much urine can also be a sign of kidney failure. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> hey, yes. so, uh, what a person will go fit uh, full uh, one 
big ragolis container can <laughs> remain in, no. uh, you, urine volume depends on how much fluid you take and the environment in which you live uh, if you are living in a cold environment you uh, will pass more urine uh, because apart from urine uh, as a source of removing water mm. the water also come out from the skin mm, sweat yes when the atmosphere is hot mm. but when the atmosphere is cold that loss from the skin is reduced so almost everything will be coming out through, one. through the urine and through the breathing yes sir. yes thank so you. Thank you. yes so then there's also pallor pa pallor means pale being pale you are almost like looking sick mm. that's one way people know that this person is sick because the kidney is not producing blood because the kidney helps in producing blood and because the kidney is diseased blood is not produced so he is looking very pale then sometimes they can be vomiting and um you know <laughs> and um <laughs> doctor i beg no <laughs> This is when you be that boy. You see, ordinary, ordinary must really like climbing up. <laughs> His face brightened up when he spoke about it. <laughs> Did my face brighten up? <laughs> <laughs> okay, doctor, continue. I know my enemy okay. is now. <laughs> then, uh, and then some some patients, they they become they they become irrational and they have they manifest with abnormal behavior. It's, it's not uncommon for you to be receiving a patient in the hospital for the first time and the man is abnormal. The wife tells you this man has been insulting everybody, he has been scattering everywhere. Mm. He's, they have to control, they have mm. to hold him, you know, or chain him to be bring him to the hospital. Yes, uh, yes, and that might just be the first time he's, he's manifesting with that, and that might be kidney failure. Eh? Yes, because once the, the toxins accumulate in the brain. It leads to abnormal behavior. We call it uremic encephalopathy. Well, so it's, it's, it's not everything that is caused by witches and wizards, and it is not necessarily madness. Yes, it could just Which be a sign name of again? Uric uremic encephalopathy. Uremic encephalopathy. encephalopathy. Yes. Una No be small time. Una go type person go mosque. <laughs> una go type person go church. Say when I do rukia or when I do uh, uh, casting and binding <laughs> deliverance, thank you. Yeah. Rukia and deliverance. No be every of that jacking and the rest. Now I require that. First of all, see a medical doctor. Thank you, sir. So, what's the treatment? The goal of treatment is to prevent patients from migrating uh, to end stage kidney failure. And so that's why the earlier we catch the patient the better so if the patient is caught maybe in stage one stage two or stage three we can delay him on that stage before he gets to the end stage which is stage five mm -hmm. because when the patient gets to stage five there's nothing anybody can do again so you are either going to continue on dialysis or oh, you, you have you, a kidney transplant but what what of stage one stage one is just early disease it's just you just know that the kidney function has dropped can it be like, controlled yes it, you, stage one yes like for instance if someone is taking all those medication i mentioned or he has diabetes that is not controlled if it does not do anything at stage one it will quickly progress to stage two and then to stage three and to stage four some people are just ignorant of what's happening in their mm. kidneys and within five years they have moved from stage one to stage five Aye. and then it's too late to do anything mm. yes yeah, so that's why it is good for annual medical check to check your kidney function so you know where you are and if you are fine that's fine but if if something is happening then you need care on you know as going forward to prevent it from moving to the next stage mm. then so the next goal of treatment is to provide for patients who already have end-stage kidney uh, kidney disease is to provide what we call renal replacement therapy like dialysis so kidney dialysis keeps a lot of people alive and um it is one of the life-saving uh, uh procedures that we do in the hospital yes ordinary president abdul hakim abdul rahman he said doctor can energy drinks cause kidney failure well no not directly it doesn't but it contains caffeine and you know some and um, sugar and all that if one is diabetic is you have to avoid it because 
it can worsen the diabetes and indirectly cause that. But uh, as a as a beverage, there's no direct link between energy drink and kidney failure. Okay, so dialysis is good to remove waste from the body, but it is not sufficient to replace all the functions of the kidney. So uh, that's mm. why that's mm. why yes. Yes. Mm. This I is very that thing. I said dialysis is important to remove waste from the body, but dialysis does not replace all the function of the kidney. So that is why um, at the end of the day kidney transplant is the final solution to kidney failure. And you see, because I'm talking about the socio-economic importance of this disease, and I'll go into that aspect soon. So, um, the, goal, the, the ultimate aim of any human person is to prevent kidney failure. Because if kidney failure has set in, it is a fight for life. And that's why a lot of people are desperate when they get kidney disease. If they tell them it is 10 million naira to get a transplant, they will get, want to get it. And if they say the, the, the donor is in Okokomaiko, they will take a train to that place to get the donor. And this, what I've said now, has implications in terms of what we face in the hospital, the, the deception that happens behind us. Mm. that leads us to you know do some things and the problem is not the hospital the problem is behind and that's w where the daily trust newspaper got it wrong i will get to that shortly so prevention of um kidney failure regular check health check to pick up declining kidney function early control of diabetes and hypertension prevention of HIV and treatment of HIV if it is present because it's two ways HIV directly affect the kidneys okay so if we can prevent HIV we will save the kidneys but if HIV is already there there are a lot of people with HIV who are now seeing it as a normal chronic disease like hypertension and diabetes but if it is there don't play the ostrich don't pretend as if it is not there you can still live 50 years 30 years with the disease, but you need to treat it to prevent it from affecting your kidneys. What about um, this one where they say toxic if person get wound, you get wound, uh, the person sweat, I touch you, I be um, this uh, hepatitis. Hepatitis does not affect the kidneys. Mm. Yes, it's the liver. So avoid abuse of medications and co co concoctions. Avoid smoking and do regular exercise. Re exercise helps a lot in many ways. Mm -hmm. So the socioeconomic importance of chronic kidney disease. Once one case of end stage kidney disease is all that is required to wreck a family financially. Yes. Why did I say so? It costs an average of fifty thousand naira a a week. Uh, uh, per session of dialysis. Eh? Yes. Dialysis may be 35,000 naira in some centers, mm. but when you add the cost of transportation to the hospital, you add the cost of other medications, the cost of tests, because nobody will put you on the dialysis machine except they check whether you are HIV positive or hepatitis positive, so that you don't give it to other patients that will come and use the machine after you. Mm. And then also, there, there, there are medications like erythropoietin. These are medications that can help to build the blood. Because like I said, the dialysis does not take care of the blood, fo uh, uh, blood forming function of the kidney. So we must give some medication that will help boost the blood. And that's erythropoietin. Once in a while, maybe once in a month, you must get that injection. Otherwise, you just be paper white. And if you get to a certain level of blood, nobody will put you on the machine. Because if the machine drags the blood, then the person can die instantly uh -huh. on, the, on the machines, yes. So there's a minimum level of blood that you can have before you can uh, go under the dialysis machine. So on the average, it costs like half a million naira a month to, to survive on dialysis. That's, that's a lot. Not many Nigerians can even earn one 10% uh, 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 
20 uh, percent of that amount most nigerians don't even end up to hundred thousand naira a month mm -hmm. and yet to, to be alive on dialysis it will cost five hundred thousand naira. minimum a wage is thirty thousand naira in nigeria thank you so yes so you can see that it it tells it it puts a lot of pressure on family friends and so some people actually go uh, on the crowdfunding to be able to stay alive yes ordinary president mm -hmm. sir. Owen Luo, he said, this is how one guy came home in one area we were staying in Nigeria before, crying that they do him charm. Nobody, nobody knows he, that he had gone and took a drug called Texaco with his friends in that uh, 2002. He got some drugs where some people go take. You go see them, they walk out like this. <laughs> another one you go see the person they do like this <laughs> the one way they work out slow the world is too fast for him now they slow the world the one way they do it like this the, uh, the sky don't yes and then you see you got sorry for interrupting you sir he got one malam for Bauchi. I don't know whether he's still there alive. And I they talk and so that uh, I go take care of our parents and our grandparents. This Buta zone where he mentioned uh, and the small, small painkiller uh, medicines. Our parents don't they use to them. My grandmother, anytime, my paternal grandmother, her own. He get one medicine wearing in the late 70s, early 80s. Caffeine, no. He did yellowish, uh, 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 pinkish. He did sweet. Any medicine we give my grandmother, may her so rest in peace. Once you give her, she go say she don't well. Now, Patana, she na buta. You may, in a, a, May they give me butter. She done well. Now, you get one malam for Bauchi. He is sick. The boy where they stay with him, travel. So for like one week, malam begin the sick. And in condition, the worst. This now, Islamic scholar. He no get any bad character. He, he, he wake up in the morning, recite the Quran. Uh, he gets uh, people will go con learn from him. They go go. Mal and condition con the worst. He say made them buy and that medicine where that boy they buy for him. He no know the name. Kai. He say may go and go under him pillow. The anti sachet day. Now go they carry. You go buy the medicine. By the time they check him, waiting for the now that medicine what I called that time. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. This drug, this uh, uh, this one where then the tramadol. Now tramadol, this boy they give this old man. So anytime when I see and they sick, now insistent they demand for the drug, not be sickness. They had to rehabilitate Mala. And this Mala could be your father. Could be my father, could be my mother, could be your mother, could be your grandparents. So let us be careful. You get one chemist man, where if you know they're careful for my village, I go send them to jail. My mother no trust any hospital for this world apart from that chemist. Amina, she could talk, say she need a pen. He go give her like 12 tablets, different, different combination. She go drink her. Mm -hmm. ah, ah. No, no, I will. I don't want them. Doctor, over to you. Thank you, Honorary President. So, on the average, it costs like, um, currently now, costs like 20 million naira to successfully carry out a kidney transplant. 20 million? Yes. 
it used to be less than that but with the naira value dropping mm. about 20 million which is still less than twenty thousand dollars but in a place like india it will cost like forty thousand dollars and in the u.s over a hundred thousand dollars a year yes Sorry, so sir. abdul abdul hafiz yusuf he said wallahi listening to do the doctor gives me goosebumps because my junior sister died kidney disease few a few years ago and she showed some of the symptoms especially that irrational behavior may her soul rest in peace amen continuous okay so after kidney, it's, kidney transplant is not the end of the problem after kidney transplant people need at least 200 to 300 thousand naira every month to stay alive yes because you, there are medications that you'll be taking to suppress the the immunity so that it doesn't the body's immunity does not attack the kidney that you have put in because it's a foreign body eh? yes that's what people don't know so sometimes pe people so have be just to do kidney transplant no it's not enough not to maintain a yes because it's a borrowed organ you need to sustain it and so many people they fight tooth and nail get all the money do their transplants and then six months down the line they don't have medicine to take to continue to sustain the kidney mm. and then many people die after the transplant people don't know why so now with this knowledge now when una they look for money for kidney transplant una go look for extra money for drugs for follow-up treatment i be i don't know whether they talk and well sir you are very right sir so, mm. Mm. so these are some of the issues what's the way forward Healthcare workers need to educate the public on the causes and prevention of kidney diseases. Non-governmental organizations are needed for advocacy and information dissemination. Government needs to regulate the use of herbal concoction and even orthodox medication. I know that there are regulatory frameworks, but they need to, to, have, to have a bite so that to prevent abuse. You see that in where you talk, I've been, I've been guilty they guilty of that first one where you talk that time. One time, I go hospital. They give me antibiotic. I drink the antibiotic. It worked for me. It sweet me. Any time where I get any sign, I don't go back. And I have very strong antibiotic. Then do them because they, I talk say I don't get them to come for two weeks and the rest. Now they say may then do. At that time I get bronchitis attack. My bronchitis start. I they get whistling sound and the rest. That's why I be I abuse that particular iota. Why they tell you Nana because I cause it a disadvantage. Now if I say antibiotic, my mind they call. Because I know what in that antibiotic do me that time. Doctor, over to you. Thank you, sir. So, and the government needs to, because the kidney, chronic end stage kidney disease has become a a, a major problem it's, in this it's country. It's rampant now. Yes, and the numbers are increasing. So the government needs to uh, mm -hmm. intervene by uh, making treatment accessible to people, and also. The regulatory framework in the treatment of uh, failure patients is needed more at this time mm -hmm. than ever before. Mm -hmm. Now, when when we notice as a hospital that this is becoming a massive problem and people are dying, so we decided to set up a kidney transplant program because to do nothing is not acceptable. Many people don't have. Who, how many people have twenty, forty thousand dollars, fifty thousand dollars to go to India for transplant or even US or UK? And besides, the laws are also made more difficult for them to travel. So we decided to set up a kidney transplant program here. Let me, let me just explain, because many people don't know how, what kidney transplant is all about. I'll use three minutes to talk about it. Okay. You know, there was a time a video was emanated from Joss. They said one Dr. Kekiri that he would just take people to the theater and harvest their kidneys with the, without them knowing. That is, that is gutter journalism. That is... It's a um, social media rubbish. Because if they know what 
kidney transplant entails. They will not believe every lie, every single thing that is going on. For you to have a kidney transplant, first of all, there must be two, two surgeries going on at the same time. Some people think that you just catch someone, harvest his kidney, put it in the fridge. Whenever you, whenever you see someone that needs kidney, you just take the person and say, okay, well, I have kidney for you. Now, so they see and for him. <laughs> now, for him. Now, for him. He does he he get <laughs> one thing where we were sorry <laughs> for interrupting you. Uh, they carry kidney, put them for inside cool air. Uh, uh, cool air, way cold. Yes. They, they, con the, they, they, they want to transplant the kidney onto one big man. The con the, the person with the teeth and kidney can't they pursue them. They can't they pursue <laughs> silly. <laughs> now, so you need you, two surgeries need to be going on at the same time. Eh? Yes, I should they remove. You cannot remove kidney from someone and wait for fifteen minutes. That kidney would would just perish in your hand. The, oh. the two surgeries are going on at the same time. So you open this patient. You open this patient. As you are taking it from this patient, you are taking it across. Within the next minute, you are you are inserting it in the other patient, and some people also think that when you, that when when the patient's kidney has failed, when you want to do transplant, you remove the failed kidney and put the new one. It doesn't work that way. No, it's spare part. See, the, when a patient has kidney transplant, he will have three kidneys if he had two before. The two that have failed plus the new one that they are bringing. You don't remove the old the old ones. You leave it there and you go to another place entirely and put the new kidney there. Yes. So, so there are many things that even doctors don't know uh. about kidney transplant. Mm. And before that patient gets to the operation table. <laughs> 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 hey, weekly trust, daily trust. Hey, continue. Before that patient gets to the operation table, mm. he goes through processes that if you are too fast, it will be one month. First of all, the patient comes, you do your general um, clacking. You are, you, once you have ascertained that this patient needs kidney transplant, in our own center, we tell them, go and look for a donor. They go and look for a donor. How they get the donor is not our problem. Well, the important thing is that they bring the donor. And the donor admits to us that he is doing the surgery at his own free will, no compulsion, and that there is no monetary consideration. It's very important because that is a point of law. Every patient that we have operated, that we have collected their kidneys to give to another person, they were brought by their donor, by their, the recipient, and they admitted to us that there is no financial consideration. No money was given to them. They didn't just say that. They went to the court to swear an affidavit. We are the only transplant center that insists on affidavit. Why? Because they signed, they signed consent to us. Not only that we say we are not satisfied, you must go to court. Because we know that it's a point of law. After that, we will now go through a pro there, are, there are a process that we take through test upon test upon test to make sure that they are matching. So it's after all that that we now proceed, you know, for the surgery. Surgery kidney transplant surgery does not last more than four hours maximum. Both the donor and the recipient surgery, and then after. Um, after three days, the donor leaves the hospital. And after like 10 days, the recipient leaves the hospital. And in our center, it's, it's, it's a huge success because we, we, we've operated people from all walks of life, big men, traditional rulers, different people, and the success rate is high. Mm. And so people are not happy with this, and they want to d damage the program. Please, let's appreciate. <laughs> They're not going to succeed. Yes. Them so, yeah, honorary then, president, then Papa left <laughs> I, I, I would like to just say a few things about this case that is going on. But before I go on, I want to read an email that someone sent to that uh, a, a, an email that happened uh, sometime in 2022. Please let me just give me two minutes to read that email. I had I, I was in the office one day and I received a mail on our official email uh, or, uh, info at Alliance Hospital at uh, Abuja abj.com I am traumatized. I'm reading the mail now, sir. I am traumatized and gradually losing my, my myself because of the loan I am owing. 
if people have not experienced such desperation, they will not understand why I think of it. I am defaulting over a sum of 500,000 naira and is incurring extra charges. Recently, in a dynamic move, this has thrown me in huge debt. Now, the loan companies are breathing on my neck and I'm gradually dying because of how restless I am. I do not fear the risk because the, sorry, the title of the, of the, um, of the mail is I want to donate my kidney. Eh? Yes. That's the title of the mail. <laughs> so he said, I do not fear the risk because not doing anything is the greater risk. The worst case scenario is a painful death, which is also welcome to me as this death is on my neck. The real hell is losing all my dignity and dream. I have been mocked and insulted by many who I contacted for financial assistance. I believe if by tomorrow they hear a, a sad story of suicide, they will act concerned and advocate for better care. Yet, they will mock you at every turn for their own pleasure, just because they don't know how it bites. Right now, my focus is to pay my debt and save myself from dying. So it is better for me to have one kidney and leave than to die with the two the two because of the debt I'm defaulting. Thanks and God bless. He mentioned his oh I didn't want his name to show. It's okay, but it's shown. So I replied him the next within within hours was when I replied him because the mail got to me on January twenty first, Friday, January twenty first, two thousand and twenty two. Uh, by 2 11 um, p.m. That was when the mail got to me. I replied the mail Friday, January 22 um, 6 uh, 4 10 p.m. I said, I said, uh, dear Michael, sorry about the difficult situation you have found yourself. I believe you can come out of it soon. You cannot donate your kidney and collect money at the same time. In any case, the law does not allow organ sale in Nigeria. People are only allowed to donate for their loved ones without financial consideration. If you are willing to work to pay your debt, Alliance Hospital can give you a job that suits your qualification. If you prove to be dedicated, the hospital can give you a loan to pay your debt while you work to pay back. Send your CV here for a job consideration if you are interested. I wish you the best. Dr. Otabosi, your medical director. <laughs> then he replied me. He replied me. He said, thank you, sir. I sincerely appreciate your concern. I'm interested and I promise to work diligently. Attached is my CV. Then, that same day, I forwarded the, the email to my HRO uh, my head of HRO. I said, Gladys, please, you remember that HRO that we, we treated it, we, we, we talk about the triplet. Yes, sir. That's the lady. Yes. I said, Gladys, please arrange for interview for this chap as ASAP. Then, on the 26th of January, Gladys replied me. She said, good morning, sir. Interview was done yesterday. He has diploma in computer appreciation. His performance was fair. He is trainable his salary expectation is fifty thousand naira. i recommend him for employment as ict assistant awaiting your directive sir honorary president as i talk with you that boy will be two years staff of alliance hospital <laughs> by next month the boy will be, will be proposed to, to sell his kidneys yes. he will be he will be he will mount he will, he will he will be two years as a staff of alliance hospital by next january that is how passionate I am in helping people. Mm. First of all, I discouraged him from selling his kidneys. And secondly, I provided a solution for him. Mm. He is with me till date for two years. Mm. And then people want to take me. They think no, that nah. they can just rubbish no, me. No. I, I have you too see, much ranks for that. Uh, Dr. Otabo, <laughs> yeah. you see this one where you they educate us today. Yeah. Even medical doctors. They learn from you now. Yeah. Yeah. So make we appreciate Dr. Otabo. So, sir. Mm. So this the video and the um the the newspaper publication that this lady, the Daily Trust, have carried about. They are being mischievous. I'll just give you a brief background. But somebody told me now.
Yes. That as we speak now, today, yes, the owner, the management of Daily Trust are going to have a meeting. If the meeting is not ongoing as we speak now, on this man. I've, I wrote to them before. I said, retract your publication. They refused. So I'm taking them to court. I've already filed. The case is in court. And so that's why I didn't want to go into all the details. But just because you said I should mm -hmm. come. So I'll just say a few things. <clears throat> you see, when people are motivated by greed, there's nothing they cannot do. Mm. So, so in, in May this year, the commissioner of police wrote us a letter to say that my staff should come and, and um, answer to a, a, a petition against us that we remove kidney from a minor and that we paid him only one million naira. I said, well, that, it is not possible for Alliance Hospital to pay one million naira to anybody. They said the person that brought the guy to the hospital and the person that also paid him the one million is a staff of Alliance Hospital by name Emmanuel Melody. So when I got to the police station i i educated the police as well as the lawyer i said for even admitting that this boy collected one million from here he should be going to jail because it is illegal to collect money at all and i also told them that the said person that you said is a staff of alliance hospital we don't know him he's not a staff of alliance hospital the boy is probably a victim of a a a, a, a tout a, a, a tout that is not known to us and I said, in any case, we, this is the affidavit that the boy swore to, that he was above 18 at the time of the surgery. Every patient that is operated in Alliance Hospital must go to court and swear this affidavit. The content of the affidavit contains his age, the relationship with the patient, and the fact that no money exchanged hands. So police, the very fine commissioner, police, very gentleman, he... he he looked into the case and set up a an investigation panel to look into the case. I think it's one the, uh, superintendent of police, Moses Sim, Sim Doc. Is that's the guy that went very crack team. They went to the court. They confirmed that this affidavit was sworn to by the boy. They met the court clerk who said, "Look, because later they were started uh, pretending as if uh, we forced the boy to swear an affidavit." I said, Do, "I don't see, sir." We did an end-of-year analysis. Last year, we saw 30,000 patients eh? in Alliance Hospital. We, did, we did close to 3,000 surgeries in the hospital. Uh, kidney transplant is not up to 10% of what we do. Mm. I don't have anything again. We will now sit down and go to Meraba and be looking for, for street urchins to, to come and operate. It, it's, we, we, it's, it's just so, so derogatory. So, mm. so, so the guy, the police discovered that, he went to meet the clerk that that administered this affidavit to them to him they said the boy did it in his own free will he was just sitting across the counter and he gave all the information to the court clerk so when police also police also asked for our pay our, for our nominal role and our payroll and they discovered that the boy the so-called Emmanuel melody is not a staff of alliance hospital not only that they looked through our account efcc scrut scrutinized i'm told they said there is no way money will exchange hands between us and these people. They just left the case. They said there's no merit. Till today, police didn't charge us because it would have been commissioner of police versus Alliance Hospital or versus myself. So when these people saw that the case did not move an inch with the police, they now wrote me a letter through the Legal Aid Council. Mm. And that's an abuse of Legal Aid Council. In that letter, they requested that I pay them the sum of 150 million naira. That's this mm -hmm. the letter for 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 harvesting kidney from a minor and for psychological distress to the father. I'm asking if you, we have a lot of young footballers now. They are 28 years old. They will carry a passport that shows that they are 20 years old. That means that they must have submitted a fake birth certificate to the Nigerian Immigration Service to get a passport of 20 years old for a 28, 29 years old footballer. Are you going to arrest the immigration officer because they gave a, a passport that bears 20 years old? Ordinary President, you know that this thing is happening. Yes. If you go to the, the U.S. Embassy, outside the U.S. Embassy, there are a lot of touts. They will even tell you, come, I'll give you a visa. 
If anything goes wrong in that process, do you arrest the U.S. embassy that they give? They, 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 they go far within the civil service cycles. Some directors they reduce their age. Thank you, sir. So, so he, when he wrote me this letter that we should, if I don't, if I don't pay the, if I don't respond, I, I pay that one hundred fifteen million within seven days. They will take us to court. One hundred and fifteen million naira. Yes. So I said, what do these people mean? I replied back to them. I said, we are not paying a dime because we did nothing wrong. That they are free to go to court, but we also have the right of reply or to defend ourselves. They didn't go to court. They went to get daily trust. Mm. They, con they, con they contacted Lamy Sedig of daily trust. And, and then they concocted what they wanted to do. And they wrote rubbish. Consultant Ike analyzed them yesterday. They say they... Uh, uh, the, the, the pockets of the, the videos of uh, kidney related cases that has that has no link with alliance hospital yes it, they are just after <laughs> going around yes. they now went back to that ungrateful human being that came here yes. that we tried to help yes i i remember pamela you remember the night where they do that video Sir. we were in the no yeah if you see, this young man came. Now, the sister even carried the cry. Come, if you will not remember, yeah. say they remove her uh, junior brother her kidney. How many say one in friend tell and saying don't sell your own into make you come sell your own? Whether you want buy iPhone, I've been awaiting. Oh, yes, uh, her. And you remember, yes, yeah, they come they sell the kidney. Now, uh, the the person will carry and come. Williams. Uh, the, the Williams, William. they give him one mil the one million naira. The person run away with the money. So if to say they no run away with the money, if or no come. Now, now you know how you you take Sabi Williams. No go look for him. You will, will not know where we will not meet. Uh, you no go there. They come here. Out of sympathy, I see me uh, where uh, every picking now my picking. Now, so I carry them. The young, the elder sister, I see, say, young girl, they carry load way past her head. And uh, the work which she they do, no beer. So I say, uh, me, I go support them. Pamela, <laughs> waiting and waiting, I don't do so far. You sent them to go for Kelechi's training and Madame. Which Finesse, is coding. Which is what 100,000 naira each. And Madame Happiness gave them free computers too. That was worth 150,000 naira each. And during that training days, Kelechi them, you gave them transport money and feeding money for every day. That's transport money for going and coming for every day throughout the training days. And you asked them after the training, they should come back so you could find a way to put the boy in school and now know how to empower the sister. Within their period nine they just call one night call you back we are in front of alliance hospital we are that going, brother uh, that they want said to do video, video now to yes, tell sir. the whole world the other brother that confirmed that he's a yahoo yahoo boy the sister was the one that said that the elder brother is into yahoo yahoo say they want to do video now they want to tell the whole world tell the whole world with it. so it can't be like blackmail if we get Alliance Hospital, we have gotten ordinary president. Yeah, have, uh, they, then they wear a wrong pant there. Now, there. Now, from that moment, I begin to withdraw from them. Only for the girl to send a letter. A letter say, the boy don't die. Wait, wait. I can't read the letter. Say, see, see, wait, the sister write. The following day, she can't send me a big WhatsApp. Say so, oh so so he to say the brother died through through now wait here for talk with that say the brother no die the same family way daily trust carry as as uh, as a uh, as a major uh, 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 victim see drama way ensure between us uh, and them she write letter say her brother died wait wait I sympathize do everything <laughs> the following day I've been at that same day. She said, oh, thank God, say the brother never died. So it, you say the brother died. Now, I'll tell you for talk. 
Now me carry you go to Lance Hospital. Now me talk say make you sell your kidney for one million naira. Now me talk say make them run with the money again. Doctor, continue. Abel. Thank you, Honorary yeah. President. So, the, the, if anybody who denies the fact that there is a, um, a, a an organ market in Nigeria, that the person is not telling you the truth. It is present everywhere in the world. In the U.S., there's an organ market. In in Canada, so in the in U in UK there is in India there is Nigeria. There it is, is a multi-billion dollar uh, dollar pro, uh, uh, market behind the scene, but we don't identify with that. If I am sitting in my hospital and you brought someone and you said this is my nephew, he's going to donate kidney for me, and we ask the person, you see your nephew, you say yes. We ask the person, how old are you? You say I'm 18 and above. We ask the person, did you collect any money? He said no. We say, okay, go to court and confirm all these things. When you have gone to court and confirm, we have done our due diligence. If tomorrow any news comes out that something happened behind, that's not my business. Because I don't have a way of knowing. Mm. How many of us, when we go to hospital, we give the hospital our, our age? How many of us bring our, our date of birth and say uh, our birth certificate? When it is when you give the hospital your age, the hospital take it as the truth, and they document it. Unfortunately, in Nigeria, we don't even have a registry that covers everything. Where even if you just your name, you put your date of birth pops up. So it, we have to take your what you tell us. But beyond that, we still say go to court and court and high court and, high court and confirm and and swear to all these things you have told us. And they came back with the affidavit. Honorary President, what else can we do? Of all the trans, there are about four transplant centers in Abuja. We are the only one that insists on um, um, the affidavit. You know what is happening? These people, first of all, they were motivated by greed because they wanted the money. We didn't give them. They said we will rubbish them. Secondly, in their investigation, they actually found that, okay, truly, there is an organ market out there and there are vulnerable young people who are being used. But the, their story will not sell until they hook Alliance Hospital. That's why they brought us in to ensure that their market sells. Who knows one Chinedu? Who knows one Olua Tosin? Who knows one uh, Emmanuel Melody? If they have written that story, it won't make, make any news. So they had to hook Alliance Hospital in it mm. for it to sell. Mm. Despite all the facts that I presented to Lami, she came to the hospital. I explained everything that I'm explaining now to her. She swept my own opinion aside, swept the fact I gave her aside, swept even the affidavit I gave her. She swept everything aside, and then she went on her own uh, uh, mission. Uh, mission to ensure that, to, to, to try to rubbish us. But, honorary president, mm -hmm. my, our Alliance Hospital is established upon humanity. And that fact is undisputable. Mm -hmm. We have done more to, to hum, for humanity, more than any other hospital that I know. Mm -hmm. See, some years back, some years back, I was watching television and I saw former coach of the Super Eagle, Kadir Ikana. He was begging. He was, he was crooked, walking in an awkward manner. He was begging the world that they should please help him. They say he needs hip replacement. He was in Abiy Okuta. I sent someone. I said, send for him for me. They brought him. I did hip replacement surgery for him. The two hips for 10 million naira. He didn't pay a cobble. Mm. And he went back. Kadir is still alive. He's a witness. That is just one of many out of many the last patient that that woman that came here that had a swollen abdomen mm. as god i thank god we were able to pull through and she has been discharged home her bill is five million she spent about the one and a half months in the hospital we didn't take a couple the honor president i'm not in this for money i do other businesses that give me money and i can walk away from alliance hospital and, I, and my lifestyle will not diminish one day but we are here to render service to save lives. And then people think that they can come and take advantage and rubbish us. It, it can't happen. In any case, we are in court. They will have their day in court. Thank Doctor, you, sir. Doctor. Doctor. I will still talk to you in the spirit of journalism. If 
eventually they did the retraction and apology speak. <clears throat> I will suggest make you forgive. Please. Please. If they do, I don't know their mind. I'm not speaking for them. In fact, that, that one million where I talk, say I go give. People talk, say make I know, I even try and say it, it go be like saying a bribe. Yeah. So the, it is out of it. I will draw that statement. But please, doctor, I beg. If they, because the, the lami of a person, nobody she get daily profit. She know if if she if it be say she no be if anybody serious uh, as far as daily trust is concerned. If this one happened, daily trust don't do me bad before, but that does not mean that they are absolutely bad. Go and check other meaningful reports where daily trust don't do. Men come, men go. As far as daily trust is concerned, some people get integrity. Some are journalists with integrity, but they cannot be there forever. Their time don't do, they don't pass. Another generation of journalists don't replace them. Daily press no they absolutely bad. Ordinary president, they they have told me that they stand by their reports. They told you they that. told me in writing. I wrote them. Uh, I said, please, this uh, uh, this this um, publication is defamatory. And given the fact that you know that I told you when you interviewed us oh, that this is defamatory. Yes, they wrote back to us that they, st they stand by their report. That's why I told my lawyer to file a suit and, they have, and the case is in court already. So I'm not seeing them backing down on this. So we're in the boxing ring. Let's it's continue. Okay. Thank can you. We, <laughs> can we even... Knowledge where doctor give us to a day 100 million feet give us. Make we appreciate, doctor. Doctor, just relax. Uh, it got somebody message we, we touch my heart. Make I innocent or not. They say, my ordinary breath, please help me. I was diagnosed with kidney stone two years ago. I was told to go for surgery. up to now. Don't have seriously in pain. Dr. Otabo. Dr. Otabo. Yes, sir. Dr. Otabo. Yes, sir. This innocent or not, I don't know. But please, let him cross into the new year 2024 without the kidney stone. Consider it done. <laughs> 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 let let him come to the hospital. Kidney stone surgery cost about 1.5 million in alliance. We will do it for free for him. Yes. So innocent, innocent or not, if you did hear me, God don't answer that your silent prayer. That those prayers where you did pray between you and your God. The same God that is all knowing and all hearing, He don't answer you. Come to Human Rights Radio and Television. I will attach you. I go. I go, I go tell somebody to carry you go Alliance Hospital. Please, if you do come, carry your relations follow body so that, that uh, once we hand over, we hand over. Make your relations carry on. Kobo una no go pay. Even the ordinary president no go pay one naira. Dr. Otabo, don't take up the bill. Let's appreciate Dr. Otabo. Thank you very much, doctor. Excuse we me. know say your schedule day very tight. Yes. Uh, Thank you. We, can, we, we will excuse you to Thank go and you. face other things. Make we appreciate that. We are no go appreciate them, but. Thank you. My brothers, my sisters, if I look at an assistant, then they give us signal, signal to do things, signal, make we continue to devour, not they go.